Belisa. We're getting ready to go on Storybook Land Canal Boats. And as you can see right behind me is Monstro the Whale. You go right through his mouth when you go on this ride. And if you look closely, his eye actually blinks and he has 44 teeth. So if you wanna take your special guy or gal on a romantic boat ride through Disneyland, this is the place to do it. It's really, really fun, and you get to see all types of lands from the Disneyland movies that you have watched over the years. And they have little teeny tiny trees around them, which are really cool as well. But we just learned today from one of the cast members that this ride still goes during fireworks, but as soon as the fireworks start, it actually stops out there on the ride so that you can watch the fireworks from the boat. So talk about a romantic boat ride. That is what we are gonna try to do one night when we're here at Disneyland. So without further ado, here's the ride. And here, here's Papa right here. Oh, we're going in. <laughs> Welcome aboard your Storybook Land Canal Boat. My name is Scott and I will be your captain today here aboard the Fauna. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs as part of the boat at all times. And parents, please watch your children. Thank you. Like now, while most people enter Storybook Land through the turn of a page and a once upon a time, we'll be entering instead through the jaws of Monster the Whale. This is the very same whale that Pinocchio encountered on his adventures. In order to escape Monster, Pinocchio decided to make him sneeze. And he sneezed and sneezed and sneezed until he sneezed his tail right off, creating a very interest in the Storybook Land. <laughs> Now, if we look to our left, you'll soon see the cave of the big bad wolf, who is always after the three little pigs across the canal from him. One in a house of straw, the next in a house of sticks, and the third in a house of 100% guaranteed wolf-proof bricks. But now our boat has just taken a strange turn, as does our story, because if you look just to our left, You'll see the quaint English village where Alice followed the white rabbit and fell down, down, down the rabbit hole. And from there, her adventures in Wonderland grew curiouser and curiouser. On our right is London Park where Peter Pan met up with Wendy Michael and John Darling for the first time. And together they all flew off to Never Never Land where they never, never had to grow up. Straight ahead is Agrabah, City of Mystery and Enchantment, where a street rat named Aladdin stole the heart of Princess Jasmine when they met in the marketplace. They fell in love and were soon married, and they now live in the Sultan's Palace to this very day. True love blooms forever in the heart just like the roses you see in the archways above us now. Now these are the very same archways that Aladdin and Jasmine flew over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride to, sing along now, a whole new world. Good job. Now straight ahead, we're gonna be entering into the Cave of Wonders, where it is said that the treasure is guarded by a mysterious curse that may only be lifted by the genie of the lamp. Whosoever yeah. owns this fabulous lamp, we are to be wished by the genie. So if you had such a lamp, what would you wish for? Well, Snow White only wished to be safe from the evil queen, and she was granted that wish thanks to the help of the seven dwarves when she found the little one in the cottage to our right side of the boat. So it's a careful you can hear her whistle while she works. 
and the seven dwarves, they mind their own business. Cinderella, however, only wished to go to the ball at the castle atop the mountain, but was denied that wish by her wicked stepmother who locked her to the tower of the Blue Chateau to our left. But with the help of a fairy godmother, she was able to go to the ball after all. But when she failed to come home before midnight, her coat turned back into a pumpkin, and it's still there in our fridge this yeah. very day. And now, I have a very special treat for everyone on board. If you look to our left side of the canal, you will see our famous giant captain work quilt, inspired by the 1933 Silly Fizzy cartoon Lullaby Land, a cartoon that's almost as old as me. Now, just in case you were curious to know, all of the fun life on this attraction are 100% real and alive. They are kept small forever and ever and never have to grow up thanks to Tinkerbell's magic pixie dust. And just a little bit of help from our very own horticultural department here at the Disneyland Resort. And now, if we look to our left, you'll see stately Toad Hall, home of Jay Thaddeus Toad. If you have business with Mr. Toad, I am sorry to say he is not home at the moment because he's off on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. Straight ahead on the left bank is the kingdom of Arendelle. When Queen Elsa abandoned her throne to build the ice cross to see atop the snowy fjord, her sister Anna just would not let it go and just had to go after her. Together with their sisterly bond, they saved the kingdom from a frozen fate. Straight ahead on the right bank of the canal is Geppetto's village. When Geppetto wished upon a star and his little witch puppet would become a real boy, Pinocchio yeah. did his part to create a happily ever after for a wolf by making that wish come true by saving them from the belly of Monstro the Whale. Speaking of happily ever after, Princess Ariel found her happily ever after in the seaside castle of Prince Eric, which you will now see coming up on the right side of the boat. Yeah. But she was not always a human who walked on land, but was usually a mermaid from the underwater cave of Atlanta, which you can see on our left behind the waterfall. But now, my friends, I'm sorry to say it, our very own story time has come to an end. But as a friendly reminder, please remain seated with your hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat and away from the dock. We do not need any more Captain Hooks, please. Thank you. Anybody need convincing that they had a good time with the use of microphone hypnotism? <laughs> no? All right then. Now just because we're coming up to a stop at the dock, it doesn't mean stand up immediately and run away. I need everyone to stay seated just a little bit longer, and I will help you to exit the boat, okay? We're not going to crash. Now, everyone on my dock side, and keep your hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat and away from the dock. Now, in order to keep this boat well balanced, I need everyone to rise together on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three, rise. Let's save this moment. Let's not worry about me. Thank you for riding with us. Please look down and watch your stuff as you enter the boat and enter the dock. Thank you for riding with us. Happy birthday again. Thank you for riding with us. Please watch your stuff as you enter the boat and enter the dock. You're going to exit to your left. Thank you, Scott. You're great. Thank, Thank you, you very much. There's a waterfall.